I like playing with dangerous yo-yos in a brand new world without a lot of rules, because then they are designed to be used by skill. In other words, you can use these tricks as thought experiments in ethics and social commentary. Yo-yo domination is what I am talking about. A world where few are born with wealth, or strong family ties, or a high IQ, or a beautiful face. A world where making money and luck is a matter of whim. Even if you have the right talent, with the yo-yo practice is important for the submission of others. Only the top do it all the time. I like that kind of world. In a simpler world, money and luck would win over talent, but in the reverse, you will learn a lot if you play with a yo-yo for many years. The best yo-yo skills are deadly ones. If you have to choose a set of tricks, go with some that will kill your opponent. The thing about death, no matter how natural it seems, can be traumatizing to a person. Noting as the world compares to a yo-yo kill of an opponent, you never forget your first, no matter how many years. I've never seen the same skill on the internet than my first in tournament. You make a choice and start working on the skill. I decapitated my first opponent in less than 10 seconds using a plasma yo-yo string. It was as pure a kill as one can think of. It was a pure and simple shock to an unsuspecting opponent. I left him in shock only to have him later challenge me after having his head reattached by pirate doctors skilled in treating yo-yo traumas. Even though he was fresh off the heels of me, I still had the advantage in that his head was on sewn on backwards, however it was difficult to sneak up on him. After losing his first match, he looked with horror to see what I had to say to him. You'll never win, I told him. His hands were shaking as he looked down at his buttocks. At that point, he knew he was in trouble. 